ha 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 That's how you say a ha ha in French. You go ha 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 ha. Okay, check it out. Now what we got here is we're stepping up our game a little bit. Okay, we're not doing a you know a real basic series or a basic parallel. We're doing a combo circuit, combination circuit. If mom were a man, she'd feed you combos. All right, check it out. I'm, I'm, I'm making that up. I want you to stop the video right now, go to YouTube and type in combos commercial if mom were a man. You know, we get a bunch of them, they're awesome, okay? And one of them is, if mom or a man, she'd feed you combos where she's lying on a bed and, she, you know, it, it's, it's, like, just go watch it, go watch it. And the kid comes in and she feeds him combos. He's sick, and right, so how do you cure sickness if you're a man? You, you eat combos, boom, combos, awesome, awesome. All right, so come, we'll get back to this. Combos, this is a combination circuit. Combination, what is a combination circuit? Well, check it out, check it out. We have both parallel and series involved. I think you can see the parallel, and I did once again draw them parallel to make that pretty evident. We have parallel, but we also have series. Remember, series means no choice. No choice, Padawan, no choice. This is series because here come the electrons out of the negative terminal. They have no choice but to go through this 6-ohm resistor. Therefore, that's in series with everything else. If you have no choice but to go through, you are in series. Now as we continue on, dun, 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 now once we get to here, if I'm an electron, I got choice. I got choice, yeah. I can go this way, or I could go this way. Choice means parallel. That's what it means. I mean, literally, I drew them parallel, but parallel means choice. So if you have more than one choice of which line to go down, we have parallel. If you have no choice, but you have to go through this. Now, whether or not the electrons are going this way, they have to go through here to get back. Or this way, they have to go through here to get back. Okay, it doesn't make any difference which way they're going, it's irrelevant. Actually, the direction of the electrons in this kind of a problem is completely irrelevant. Doesn't matter. They would come out of the negative and go this way, but it doesn't matter. If they came out this way and I switched this and made this line longer, okay, if we make this line longer, and this line's shorter. Now they're coming out of here. Still in parallel. I'm still in series. These are still in parallel. Still in series because the electrons have to go through to get back to the positive. Okay, so the direction of the flow isn't going to make a difference in any of these problems. Remember that. Look at what I got. I wrote a whole bunch of stuff we have to calculate. Now we're getting some fun. This is fun. Total resistance, total current. The current. I, I through the 4 ohm resistor, I4, I6, the current through the 6 ohm resistor, the voltage used on the 6 ohm resistor, and the voltage used on the 2 ohm resistor. All good, fun stuff that we need to calculate. Let's get into it. First thing we always do is calculate the total resistance. And when you got a bad Larry like this, you got a combo. Go get some combos right now. They're pretty good. You know, they got the, the pretzel and the, the cheese on the outside. It's so good. I'm hungry. I want to eat some combos. Um, so, so what we're going to do here is get the total. Now, when you get the total current, the total resistance, in a combination circuit, you look at the parallel portion first. And there might be more than one. Uh, maybe there's two parallel portions. Yeah, those are really fun. These are fun. Don't look at these as, you know, anything else but a puzzle to solve. Okay, you like doing crossword puzzles? Okay, maybe you like doing word search puzzles. Okay, maybe you like, you know, whatever kind of puzzle, you know, finding jumble, whatever work. This is a puzzle. This is fun. This is fun. Look at right at it. Proper attitude, people. Important. Get the proper attitude. Okay? Fun. You're going to have fun and you don't like it. Okay. So this is fun. We're going to solve this. Look at the parallel portion first and solve that portion of the circuit. What do you mean? Let's get the resistance of the parallel portion first. We want total resistance, so I need the resistance here, and I have to add it to the six. Okay, remember the battery doesn't see, see, as if it has eyes, right? The battery doesn't see two resistors out here. The battery thinks, as if it thinks, that there is one resistor there with a total amount of resistance of the reciprocal of these two. So I like to draw, when doing these, I like to draw a different color. Oh, that's a horse of a different color. I like to draw a different color resistor in there because that's what the battery thinks is there. The battery thinks there's just one resistor here with a certain amount of resistance is going to send it some voltage. So I draw a, a, a resistor in there to represent the total resistance of those two things in parallel. Okay, what are, what's that going to be? Well, these are in parallel. 
So add them in, whoop, whoop, reciprocal. Mm -hmm. So this total resistance, which is my, my red resistor here, is going to be equal to 1 over 2, 1 half plus 1 fourth. Okay, because those are added in your reciprocal. Okay, okay, hey, what's 1 half and 1 fourth? That's 3 quarters, right? I mean, that's 3 quarters. So 1 half and 1 quarter, okay, this is, this is like two, 2 quarters and 1 quarter, 3 quarters. So 3 quarters, but remember, ah, careful, careful. When you do your fractions and you get an answer, what do you do with the answer at the end? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very good, Macy, very good. You flip them, okay? You flip them, muy bien, muy bien. Okay, very good, Thomas, very good. You, you remembered that, I know you did. Okay, so now we flip those. So this, the answer to this is not third, three fourths, it's, it's four thirds. Now, four thirds is a fraction. Remember, people, eh, they laugh at you when you do fractions in physics. So four thirds is one and one half evil. Okay, one and one half evil, 1.33. And you don't believe me, do the math. Four divided by three. So 1.333 is the total amount of resistance of these two resistors acting in parallel. So look what happens. When you add things in parallel, their resistance goes down. That's why you get such fast flow. Remember we had nine amps versus one amp? That's because you, when you add those things the, in parallel, you decrease the resistance to flow. So boom. So we have a two and a four, and we end up getting 1.33. That's lower than either one of them. So we get fast flow because we lower the resistance when things are in parallel. So now there's a 1.33 ohm resistor right here that the battery is going to send some energy to. Okay, so now we're ready to get the first answer, RT. Okay, this is 1.33, and now we've calculated this, and this, my, 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 my 1.33 is in series with the six. Remember, the six is in series. It has no choice but to go through here, the electricity. So six plus 1.33. So now we have the total resistance of 7.33 ohm fries, ohm boys. All right, now. Total current, total current. If I want total current, I'm gonna take the total voltage, which is 12, it's my total voltage, my voltage from the battery, and divide it by the total resistance, which is 7.33. And that'll give me the total amount, and I'm not gonna do this in my head, kids, you know, it's not, it's not, it's, I'm getting tired, it's late in the afternoon, I wanna go home and eat. Okay, I'm hungry, I've been talking about combos, I'm starving now. So 12 divided by 7.33, equals 1.64. So 1.64, 1.64 amps. So 1.64, that's my answer here. Okay, you have to get these two in this order in order to move on. Okay, ready? Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna show you something here. Let me see if you can get this. The easiest one out of all these remaining four is this one right here. The current through the six ohm resistor. It's in series. So what does the current have to be? Yeah, the current has no choice. It has to go through it. Whether it doesn't make a difference what direction, it's got to go through there. So all the current has to go through this. If you're in series, all the current has to go through you. Bingo. That one's done. 1.64 amps because you are in series and all the current has to go through you. Okay, how much current is going through the 4 ohm resistor? Now. There are two ways to solve this. One is actually a fraction way. And if you look at it this way, you've got this 1.64 amps dun, 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 through here. Dun, 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 splits. So does it split equally? Will we just divide this in half and have our answer? Eh, 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 nine, nine, nine. Think German. No. This is four ohms of resistance. This only has two. This has more resistance. This is saying to those electrons, slow down. Remember, that's what resistors do. More than this one. This one's like, mm, slow down. Mm, I, slow down. This one's like, no, slow down. Twice as much slow down power. So that means the current through here is going to be slower. It's more resistance than here. So it's not equal. You could do a fraction here. This is simple enough that you actually could use fractions to get your answer. Six and four, <laughs> two and four, six, and this is four out of six, two out of six, four out of six is two thirds, one third, but you have 
two thirds of the resistance, so you only get one third of the current. So one third of 1.64, is 0.55, would be the current going through this. I know, I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm, not, I'm just showing you, you can do fractions, but it's not the way I really want you to do it. But this is two out of six, or one third, so you get, because you only one third the resistance, you get two thirds the current, so two thirds of this is 1.1. Do the math, yeah, you'll see. Oh, pretty smart. So we, we know that through going through here, we should get an answer of 0.55 amps. I did fractions there, but let's not use fractions because sometimes you can't. Sometimes the, the problems aren't easy enough that you have to you can use fractions. So you have to come up with a different way of doing it. Ohm suggestion. That's how we do it. All right, let's get rid of this. And I want to know, I want to know how much current is going through this 4 ohm resistor. Okay, so the current through the 4 is going to be equal to the voltage used. Remember, V is IR, so I is V over R. I need the voltage used on the 4. Whoa, this is a fresh marker. <laughs> Woo! Ho oh, ho! Feeling good now! <laughs> Sorry. And then this is the resistance of a 4 ohm resistor. Now, the resistance of a 4 ohm resistor is 4 ohms. So I'll put that in right now. But what I need to know is how much voltage is used on that 4 ohm resistor. Uh-oh, here we go. Voltage drop. Remember that? A, so this is the total amount of voltage and energy, and it has to be divvied up. So you get some, and you get some. These two lines get equal amounts. That was the major point of the last video. The lines get equal amounts. They get equal amounts, but they only get a portion of the total because this guy over here is going to be chewing up most of the pie. He's the big pie eater over here. This is going to use a lot of that energy, and you guys get what's left over. Now, how are we going to figure that out? How am I going to know what the voltage is? Okay. All right. Here's what we got to do. So I would say at this point, even though I did put this, so you don't have to solve these in order, and I'm not going to. I'm actually going to come back to this one. We're going to put this one on hold. Put this one on hold right now. And let's go to this one here. This was easy. That was easy, remember? When things are in, in series, all the current has to go through it. We can use that to our advantage. We can say, all right, I know how much resistance you have, and I know how much current's going through you. I can figure out the voltage going through you very quickly, very easily. So let's do that first. That's going to help us. Watch. So the voltage used on the 6 ohm resistor is going to be equal to the current. So I need the IR. The current going through the 6 ohm resistor, multiplied by the resistance of 6 ohm resistor, which is 6. So the voltage that's going to be chewed up and used out of the 12 on you is going to be equal to 1.64 1.64 times 6, 9.84, uh, 9.84 volts. So out of the total amount of voltage available, out of the 12, 9.84. This is fun. It's a puzzle. It's like you got to figure out parts of the puzzle to keep moving forward. Of course, if you screw up one of the parts early, you're toast for the rest of the problem. But hey, that's the challenge. Life is what fun would life be without challenge? So now we know that this is 9.84 volts out of the total of 12. Okay. You used up a lot of the pie, you big fat pie eater. You're a pig. You didn't leave any for anybody else. Not very nice. So if you used up 9.84, and there's a total of 12, if I subtract that, I get 2.16 volts of electricity power remaining. You guys get that. You guys get the 2.16. Do they both get the 2.16? Yes, because remember, the battery thinks there's one resistor here and this is the only resistor remaining, according to this battery, after the 6 is chewed up its 9.84 portion of the 12. So you used up this, the remainder of the 2.16 is what you get, and that's why we said in the last video that both lines get equal amounts of that voltage. They both get that voltage, the 2.16. You get 2.16, and you get 2.16. Okay, remember that. That's important. If you, don't, if you don't get that one, you're toast. Lines get equal amounts of voltage. Okay. So this is a resistor. 
this is the resistor of these two combined. It's called the equivalent resistance, by the way. You'll hear that term, the equivalent resistance. That means the resistance of the two things acting or three things acting together. What's their equivalent resistance? What are they equal? And we get 1.333. Okay, so this 2.16 goes to you, which is determined by you two, so you both get the 2.16. So that means you, the four, get 2.16, and the two ohm resistor up here get 2.16. So you get 2.16 volts. 2.16 volts. All right, okay. Ah, now we'll come back to this. Now we can solve this at this point relatively quickly. The current going through the 4 ohm resistor is equal to the voltage used in the 4 ohm resistor, which we just determined was 2.16. Divide that by four, and we get the current going through there. Now remember earlier I said uh, you're gonna get two-thirds of the current, you're gonna get one-third of the current because you have two-thirds of the resistance and you only have one-third of the resistance. So this in two-thirds and one-third. So one-third of the total, 1.64 is 0.55. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Okay, 2.16, 2.16, divided by four, divided by four, boom, 0.54, boom, boom, boom. So we used logic, and then we used Ohm's law to prove. Now logic can help you on a circuit like this. There's only three things. It's still relatively easy, and they get more complex. So logic will, will get you through this, but sometimes it won't. So you have to use Ohm's law and those little tricks and sometimes you solve something that's, you know, you solve down here and say, it's like doing a crossword puzzle. You know, you can't, don't just try to solve a crossword puzzle with number one down, number two down, number one across and two across and forget it. You're going to get bogged down. You're never going to get down to this part of the puzzle. So sometimes you have to go here and here and then here and here and here and then you go back and fill that part in, huh? That's what I'm talking about. That's how you solve a crossword puzzle. That's how you solve these bad Larry's. So you solve this by, you know, pick out things that you can solve relatively easy, like the current going through a parallel, or a series resistor. That's easy. And then it'll help you build and fill in the rest of the things you need to solve. Okay? Oh, man, this is a long video, but this is, this is an important one. If this is not making sense to you, Watch it again. I know, it's going to be painful, trust me. One time I know it's bad enough, right? Watch it again. Go through it again and see if you can follow it. If you can't follow it, you better get some help there, people, because you need to be able to get these kind of problems. Okay? There we go. Next problem coming up. After this, we'll shut this off and give you a little water break. Get some water.